Liko, a timid girl from the Paldea region, arrives in the Kanto region to begin her studies at the Indigo Academy. Eventually, Liko chooses Nyahoja as her first Pokemon, but the two of them struggle to see things from the same perspective. One night, Liko encounters Amethio, a member of a group known as the Explorers. He gives her a letter, supposedly from her grandmother, asking her to bring her special pendant. Feeling suspicious about the situation, Liko decides to flee instead. While being pursued by Amethio and his team, another man with a lizard on comes to her rescue. When Liko tries to leap off a rooftop, her pendant starts to emit a glow. Liko is enveloped in a green sphere and sees a peculiar Pokemon, which vanishes moments later. Fride, the man with the lizard on, takes Liko away from danger and brings her to an airship called the Brave Asagi. Liko meets Fride's other companions and starts to place her trust in them. Meanwhile, Amethio and his team continue their pursuit of Liko's pendant and reach the airship. Unfortunately, after a heated battle between Fride and Amethio, Nyahoja, Liko's Pokemon, is blown off the airship. Amethio and his team decide to retreat, taking Nyahoja with them. The day after Nyahoja's disappearance, Frida tracks the explorers to a nearby port town, and the crew agrees to help Liko reclaim Nyahoja. Konya, who has been taking care of Nyahoja affectionately, is discovered by Murdoch's Iwanko at the Pokemon Center. The group gives chase, and Amethio instructs Konya to lure them to their hideout. There, Freedy engages in a battle with Amethio to buy Liko time to rescue Nyahoja. Confronted by Konya outside, Liko commands Nyahoja to use leafage to create a distraction with a flurry of leaves, allowing them to escape. Frida notices that their plan was successful and retreats. The rising Voltekers and Liko regroup and set sail for her home in Paldea. Meanwhile, a local islander named Roy discovers the brave Asagi's missing flag on the beach. The rising Voltekers dock at Roy's island to repair the damaged balloon of the brave Asagi. Their hogator accidentally falls overboard and wanders through the island's forest, stumbling upon a stash of berries before being found by Roy, who befriends it. Liko and Nyahoja realize Hogator's absence and track it to the forest, where they are attacked by wild Pokemon who blame them for eating the berries. Roy comes to their aid, and his ancient Pokeball resonates with Liko's pendant, but they and Hogator are swiftly ensnared by the wild Pokemon. Frida saves the group and calms the wild Pokemon, who forgive Hogator after Liko and Roy help replace the berries. Liko, Nyahoja, and Hogator bid farewell to Roy before returning to the brave Asagi. Unwilling to leave Hogator behind, Roy sneaks aboard the brave Asagi to become its partner. The crew allows Roy to stay for the night, but he fails to find Hogator and returns home the next morning. Hogator learns about Roy's visit and goes in search of him, discovering that the explorers have followed the rising Voltekers. Reuniting with Hogator and being warned about the explorers, Roy enlists the help of the local bug Pokemon to mend the brave Asagi's balloon while Freed and the rest of the crew battle Amethio and Zir to protect the ship. Roy joins the battle and motivates Hogator to unleash its first successful ember attack. However, their accomplishment distracts Frida, allowing Amethio to approach Liko. After Liko's pendant protects her, she and Roy join forces to battle Amethio, but his Sublades overpower Nyahoja and Hogator easily. As Liko rushes to shield Nyahoja, Roy's Pokeball resonates with her pendant releasing a black Rayquaza that forces the explorers to retreat before flying away. Inspired by the adventure, Roy captures Hogator and gains his grandfather's permission to explore the world with the rising Voltekers in search of Rayquaza. Meanwhile, the leader of the explorers, Gibeon, removes Amethio from the mission and assigns it to his teammate Spinel, leaving Amethio to pursue Rayquaza and unravel its connection to the pendant. Liko and Roy inquire about Rayquaza's whereabouts from Dot, the crew's secretive information gatherer, but she dismisses them initially and draws a picture of a defeated Roy and Hogator. Eventually, Dot is inspired by Liko's appreciation for Gurumin, a popular online personality, and decides to briefly leave her room and accept Murdoch's donuts. The brave Asagi arrives in Paldea, reminding Liko that her journey with the rising Voltekers will only be temporary. Liko is torn between staying with the crew or returning to her parents, causing Nyahoja to avoid her when she appears to be settling back into her old home. After overhearing her father, Alex, express his concerns about her since she left for Kanto, Liko opens up to the crew about her feelings and resolves to continue her adventures with them.